versus Sean show. Mati versus Sean. Mati versus Sean. Mati versus Sean. The Mati versus Sean show. Mati versus Sean. Mati versus Sean. Mati versus Sean. All right. All right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the mic. Versus Sean Show. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 And our very special guest co-host for tonight is Fabi. Fabi, and we also have Mr. Uh, Victor Ariano. Victor is back for the third time. This God. motherfucker is a legend on this show. All he just won't stay out of the studio. He, he always... yeah. He not only does he make an appearance, but he brings friends to make an appearance, which is actually awesome because we've gotten some great stories yeah, so far. They happen to be yeah, cool, so, interesting people. Yeah, yeah so kudos so to, to Mr. Let's Victor. Go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, and then let's right. have you angle a little bit more. Thank you. A little bit more. Oh. There we go. Alright. Okay, okay. So, uh, you know, let's just start with the, the you know, the white question. So, Sean? Uh, yeah, so once again, this is White Boy Sean, and uh, we have Fabi here tonight. And uh, I'm sure we're all interested in who you are and what you do. Well, I used to be a karaoke DJ, but uh, following my selfish, self-love path, I decided that fuck that shit. So, I don't really do anything right now, but I decided recently that I wanted to become a sex therapist. I find that I tend to be very intuitive when it comes to like people and like their chemistry with each other and what She's they good at need. It. Yeah. She's really good. Right. So yeah. this is when the black question comes in because I ask all the great questions. He has the good ones. I shut the great ones. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So Actually, my my oh, first question is, is so what even qualifies you to be sex therapist um i'm a nasty bitch oh wow <laughs> i'm just kidding um i'm very intuitive yeah um i love bdsm but i'm also very sensitive you know like okay especially, wait uh, for our listeners out there that don't know what bdsm is or can you break it down for them oh shit i forget what the actual like uh bondage, bondage. dick sex <laughs> Uh, I think it's bondage, it. domination, slavery, or slave, slaves and slave masters, it. slaves and masters, or something. Kanye. Kind of, yeah. yeah. That sounds like white. Like Basically, that. like some kinky, like, like pain and domination, and like. And that's it's, that's a choice. It's right? not always. It's not always. It's not pain. always that's like, a choice. But it's a choice for four hundred years, right? It's, pretty it's a choice. But the thing is, if you're someone who enjoys it, you don't want it to be a, jo- a choice. You want someone to actually do it to you. Okay, so they've been doing that for 400 years, 400 years. That sounds like a choice to me, right? 403. Okay. Right. Well, I mean, just, just like with any uh, relations, it's all about consent. And you do have to be very comfortable with your partner, um, even as far as, like, you know, using safe words and knowing your boundaries. You know, like, you can't just go and, like, have some random-ass stranger tie you up and, like, start fucking spanking the shit out of you like you need to like know like w- like th- you, you need I to have great that. communication oh. i know you're 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 a social you like fucking sex and dumpsters and shit you're down for that stuff all right so mm-hmm. what what's yeah. a safe word a and common safe word <laughs> have you seen uh, that one show uh portlandia cacao no <laughs> oh i have yeah cacao, cacao. <laughs> uh i mean like a safe word is just like any word that like you know if you're going uh, too hard. If you're going too hard, because sometimes like the word no, and I don't yeah. like I don't want to feed into the whole rape culture. Sometimes no doesn't necessarily always mean no. Like it just, but a safe word is a definite like, you stop right now. It's like the kill switch. Like yeah. all right, stop for like, real. It's not like role playing or just like kinky, 
shit yeah. anymore. So, like, like for stop. instance, like, if a girl's like, Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby. That that's means the worst yeah, safe yeah. word I've ever. <laughs> wow. wow, that's yeah. Some girls have nightmares about that shit, and that Aww. wasn't even their safe word. That or was or their... Weinstein, Harvey Weinstein. I don't know who that is. It's, he sounds a little more attractive though. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. I, I feel I, you can't yell the person's name because, like, if if you're having sex with them, no, I mean like for the safe know. word, you know. Safe. That would be it's, like a safe a, word is usually like, like a, an object or. Um, like pineapple. Something, yeah. something, something really random. random. Something random. Topanga. Topanga. Yeah. I love Topanga. You'd be, you know, I was going to say you'd be But I probably wouldn't even, I probably want to use it as my, my I, safe I say word. I feel like the I, best bet when it comes to a safe one. word is like something that'll be like an instant like boner killer. Like, yeah, just like whoop. Bill Cosby. Like, yeah. <laughs> or sure. mom. Yeah. yeah. Mom. Oh, sure. uh, that's horrible. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Mother's Day. Father. Father. Oh shit! Abandonment issues. Abandonment issues. Yeah. Instant boner killer. No, that, yeah, that's, right. that's something in here. That's something in there. Oh, no. Or boner killer. Boner killer. <laughs> that's too long. Too many syllables. <laughs> I would. I would make it. Cacao's a good one. Cacao. This is my safe word. No, cacao is a good one. Okay. I feel like it has to be short because if it's like intense, you might not be able to get out like a full yeah. sentence yeah. or something. Like, I mean, you need you... something you can just be like. What could this. you easily say if you were like having sex with a chick and she was like ripping you too hard? What would you say? Ooh, me what? too hard. Ripping what too hard? Yeah, I don't. I hate your. Uh, I mean, obviously oh, he's a pegger. Me. Or ripping. Obviously, or he likes to get pegged. I don't know what pegging is, but. <laughs> uh, an easy safe pegging. word. You know what pegging? Like All right, pegging. Or pegging is when uh, a chick gets like. A strap on, and she like. That's nice. You. Yeah, um, no, I'm not personally that's... really into butt stuff, and we kind of talked about that on our uh, e- eating ass segment with uh, Jay Prince. It, it should, but it should be something that's discussed if you don't like no. it, because it, it can be something that's very enjoyable. <laughs> we are not having that conversation. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's issues like this that I also want to work with when it comes to like sex. We can talk service. about also, it. We can like, go over it again. It's like maybe but... like getting you comfortable with like because I feel like everyone has a mixture of like the divine masculine and divine feminine, and I think like there's so many men that close themselves off from something because like oh that's gay. No. It's Do you not. know like when when guys get fucked, it, it's not a feminine thing at all. Like there are people, there are guys who get fucked, like especially like well, me, like like. I'm not saying like. Getting fucked like in the me. ass is a feminine thing. Well, no, I'm just saying, like, like, like but you're gay, Victor. But, no, but but I'll 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 take it hard. I, I'm not like super feminine about it. Like I'm super like when I get fucked, I think it's a really masculine thing. It's super. Masculine. <laughs> I mean, okay. yeah, because yeah. like two two ma- two masculine forces together, it's just absurd. Just equals more masculine. It, right? Yeah, it's just like electricity. It's just like. But I mean, I can never know because I've never had sex with a chick. But never, never, ever, never. Why? Uh, I've just never done it. Wow. But, all right. So, so, she was so there, you're technically she... like a virgin. In that oh sense. no, every hole's been used. <laughs> no, with the girl. Though. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the first night a chick gave me head, it was actually in the back of her car. <gasps> oh my gosh, that night was. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. How long you guys known each other? That was, was this fantastic. Recent? No, yeah. this was years. Years ago, this is probably like yeah. seven years ago. Seven like, years, yeah, or like at least six. Yeah, that was a crazy night. We were driving back from Velvet from some, yeah, Velvet, and uh, one of our homegirls, she was in the front seat. She starts giving him head, and then we're just like, well, fuck it. She was bitch. giving me and head. I was like, driving, <laughs> I was driving, Ooh. I was like, well, fuck it, bitch. She actually wow. grabbed my dick, too. Yeah, I was, I they was were playing, both I was jerking me off playing wow. with his willy yeah. while driving. Wow, that yep. sounds. Wow. And then she that ended up. That sounds very exciting. She came to the back seat, not her, but no. Ashley. No. She lives in New York now. God bless you, Ashley. Um, she started giving me fellatio, and it was it was not the greatest fellatio that I've ever received. <laughs> I don't know if she honest. wants Fluffy to be that open about that situation, bro. She okay. Oh, okay, well, cool. we don't know her last name, so I okay, think she's that's okay. Fine. That's fine. Yep. There's right. plenty of Ashleys in New York, you know, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey. she's never gonna listen to this so. <laughs> yeah maybe and even if she does she wouldn't care 
Yeah. Sure, no, exactly. Right. But sure, never she... say never, okay? Because we want everyone. Yes. We already have like millions and millions of uh, Mikey versus Sean fans. Let's do it. Okay. Let's make a million Let's more. Clear. Fans. Yeah. Let's make a million And more. by the way, these two uh, lovely people here, our guest hosts, are also millionaires. Just like me and Sean. Just so, like everybody on this show. Yeah, like, everyone, everyone that comes Laguna. on this show. I live in Laguna. As a millionaire. Dude, you gotta come to my private island, man. It's crazy. Yeah, Sean has an awesome island. Where Slay, is it? Slay Island. Slay yeah. Island. Uh, it's Slay in Slayland. It's pretty dope. Yeah, Slayland? It's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty confidential. Oh, okay. But, yeah. yeah. Can I fuck hoes there? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Why not? Well, yeah. Thanks. Let's do it. Sounds good. It's the Slay House. So, anyway, back to Thadby. Yeah. So, are you bisexual? What's your sexual preference? I am straight, but for the right chick, I'd let her go down on me. Okay. Have you gone down on a girl? No. I've I've had a threesome before in which there was, like, another chick there. And, like, sure, go at it, girlfriend. But when it (laughs) came time to, like, you know, reciprocate, like, even just trying to finger her was a awkward situation for me. So You're not like, down. I was like, well, there you go. But, I mean, go ahead and suck on these titties, bitch. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah, okay. but, I mean, for the right girl. It's not, like, not not any bitch could do that shit. Just yeah. saying. Yeah. It's okay. a privilege. It's so, a privilege. we described uh, his other friend that we brought over. Uh, her her mm-hmm. titties. Mm-hmm. Speaking of titties. Mm-hmm. Would you say you have awesome... Beautiful titties. They're awesome. I'll vouch for They're her. Pretty They're, right. They're, They're pretty all right. They're pretty all right. But huge. I like to stay humble. She won't brag about them. No. I'll like, do the bragging. Like she you has sit down, amazing breasts. Stay They're humble. Absolutely huge, yeah. juicy. Um, sit per- down, perky, meditate. Perky areola. So, so you you said you're you're a freaky ass bitch. Yeah. And rad, but. The, how how do you think that that qualifies you to help other people with their their sex problems? I mean, you said you're intuitive. <clears throat> uh, you kind of feel out people's vibes. Like, how would you do it? Would you take couples in or individuals in? And couples and individuals. So I I noticed that I've helped a lot of like guys kind of come into their sexuality as far as when it comes to like men on men situations and I've been pretty good about like reading their needs and like kind of talking with them about just like opening up about those type of things and also a lot of chicks come to me with uh, questions about like what to do to spice up their uh, sex life with like guys and I'm definitely that one friend who like is like so how's it going with your uh, with your significant other blah 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 have you masturbated today like you know it's all just like very open huh yeah yeah I mean I feel like we should be open about this we should be very open because then yeah, that's what our show yeah. is all about yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that, that mm-hmm. is open and pushing pushing boundaries and, and yeah yeah whatever is odd controversial Whatever people are getting upset about or really passionate about, that's that's what we talk about. Do, yeah. do you think there's a big need for for that? Like, I think sex therapists are real. It's a real profession, right? Like, already? it is. It is. It definitely is. Um, you could go in like the super like hardcore realm of it, and once you get like, you know, a doctorate and all that good stuff. But um, right. I probably wouldn't do anything like that. I. So I've started to get very like spiritual and like I start like. I've been get, like getting really into like angel card readings and tarot card readings, and oh. I actually uh, got an angel card reading not too long ago that basically like kind of expressed to me that I need to start focusing in on um, my light worker life mission, and they kind of left me confused. Like, well, what the fuck should I do? Like, like <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Like, and it kind of left me in the state of just like. Well, does that mean that I can't go around, like, fucking around and shit? Like, what if I become a Reiki healer, and I'm over here, like, working on someone, and then all of a sudden they, like, get up and they're done, and they're just like, all right, well, I'm just gonna go suck a bunch of dicks, because the energy pulled from me, like, all of my hoe energy pulled to me and, like, went to them. And, and like, it kind of, like, made me, like, well, like, how can... How can I be a light worker if I'm not like the purest of people? Um, but of course, that's all. That's 
that's all perspective. And I just, I don't know, I came to the realization sometime this week that there could be a beautiful mixture of, like, cause I mean, we're all sexual beings. It is the source of life. Yeah. And, um, you know, as I like to say, the tribe thrives when the woman is sexually satisfied. And it's like, a, it's a old understanding, like before like barbarians came in and just fuck shit up and started raping and pillaging and blah, blah, blah. Like women did have the power. And like if women, well, back in like, back, 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 Day, you know, women were like well respected and yeah, like yeah. like Spartan chivalry, essentially. Well, yeah, <laughs> kind of. Oh, before chivalry. Well, because right. they they were the yeah. they were the mothers and they were the ones that like continued, you know, their their tribe because most of the men were probably warriors or hunters. You know what? One of the most badass right. women I respected growing up was. Zena, the warrior princess. You know her? Yeah. yeah. No, strong women yeah. are sexy. Oh. She's pretty beast. She's pretty yeah. beast. Yeah. yeah. She would come on like every day after Hercules. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like she, a back to back. She's hot. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> yeah. I love Zena, man. Fuck pretty yeah. Pretty dope. Yeah. Oh, okay. Man. So I want to run through a quick checklist. So no girls. I mean, you're down for girls on you. Not fucking with. Not down to do stuff to girls. Well, well, like not at least her pussy, right? Yeah. What about I mean, like, would you suck another girl's tits? I think you have. <sighs> I'd be surprised I'm, if you hadn't. I might, but she would have to have some like phenomenal really nice tits. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of picky, I guess. Yeah, that was like four kids deep. Actually, we can't post that. I love that chick. She's so cool. <laughs> your, tits, your tits were not... They're, they're pretty cool. Oh, they're good. Oh, no. Oh, man. Awesome. This they're pretty is great. cool. All right. So... <laughs> they're pretty, Fuck pretty off. Cool. Yeah. Um, oh, are you... God. Would you say you're more of a... Give kid? her yeah. a receiver. Yeah. Which, uh, which do you enjoy more? I mean, I guess everybody enjoys receiving, but... you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of selfish. But if it's for the right guy, I'm down to like give extra but like if it's just like a whatever kind of fuck type of situation like if it's a fuck boy type of deal like definitely very selfish but what do you mean by give extra i mean like actually put in like some real effort you know what i'm saying like really like slob on that knob like perfectionist status you know but yeah. it's only for special people's well sure i think i mean i thought you were a dom I do. From all of my years of knowing you, I, I, I you were do dumb. enjoy that stuff, but. Are you like a power bottom? <sighs> what do you mean, power bottom? Power bottom, like yeah, you well, take what it, is but, that again? but you, you, you give it like hard. Well, I, I mean, don't know how to describe it. You can, you can be dominant, <clears throat> but in that sense where it's just like I'm kind of bossy. I'm like, do this, do that. Wait, maneuver this way, maneuver that way. Maybe swivel your hips a little bit more, like harder, softer, blah, blah, blah. Just like very just in So you're like control. a coach. Kind of. If, no, yeah, you're, you're like, like a coach in, what you're you like want. a coach in the game. Like on the court coach. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're like yeah. Kobe Bryant. Well, it sounds like she just knows what she wants and she's like, do it this way. Yeah. Now do it like that Kobe way. Bryant. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, she knows what it's gonna take yeah. to win, right? Yeah. And she's like, mm, "I see where you're this going. Is, this is what I need you to do." Yeah. So we can both get that ring. Yeah. That and so, and so that that does sound like the making of maybe a sex therapist. That you know that response. Yeah. yeah. So one to ten, how would you rate your oral skills for that special man in your life? Nine point five. 9.5. Nice. That's pretty high. Okay, so why not that extra, like, 0. 0.5? Because uh, sometimes I just can't deep throat that well. Sometimes it just doesn't work out that well. Then, so. girl, you're a 7. Mm. Uh, sometimes. Then, girl, you're a 7. You said that immediately times. drops you to a 7. Damn. Whatever. I guess we're black, what's it called? Black mirroring? We are. Wait, so, why, though? We like, are. you have a gag reflex, or... Just... I mean, I did accidentally throw up on a guy's dick once, but... <laughs> um, I've done that before. I, I, I liked it. 
That hasn't happened to me, but, I mean, I don't suck dick, but I haven't had a girl throw up on mine, but I've talked to a lot of girls that have had that same experience, like, when, you know, getting, getting in there. Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, that, that would be embarrassing, I guess, like, for a girl to... Yeah, but it's only happened, like, one time, so that's why I take away the help for it. Okay. All right. All right, so what about... Are you a dry or a sloppy? How do you like to... Or you mix it up? What do you mean dry or sloppy? Like some girls use a lot of spit. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, fucking... hells no. There needs to be like a lot of moisture or else it's just like, what are you doing? Agreed. Definitely. Like, what is that? What is that? Which makes it like really fucking gnarly when you're all like <laughs> dry mouthed. Uh, smoking too much weed and doing some other things. You know what I'm saying? I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, does not work out too well sometimes. Okay. But so are you traditional or do you dabble into the anal area? Oh, yeah, I'm down for anal. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Do which one do you like more? Obviously, like, I would prefer to, like, you know, I prefer vaginal, but sometimes it's nice to, like, or both at the same time works out, too. Why not? Uh-huh. Wait, so, are you so talking you- about DP? Have you been with a thir- in a threesome with two guys? No, but I mean, like, so I've had, like, I've had experiences in which, like, someone will be fucking me in the ass and I'll have, like, my vibrator mm. mm-hmm. and gotcha. just, like, and you're doing yeah. why not yeah. both? Yeah. Or, no. No. or yeah. hitting all three spots. Yeah. You know, clitoral, vaginal, and anal all at the same mm-hmm. time. Why not? So you you definitely say you're, you're sex-experienced. Experienced sex, right? Yeah. It's a new term I learned. <laughs> really? All right. Yeah. yeah. Guess so. I've done a lot of weird shit. <laughs> well, what, what would you consider weird? I don't know. Piss play? Oh, God. No. No. <laughs> that, no. You've never done it? Golden like golden showers yeah. is like when you're getting peed on or I mean something that. like that. I mean when I first started learning <laughs> that I can't squirt, I might have accidentally pissed on a guy once or twice, but like no, as far as like intentional like intentional peeing. Wait, no. hold, hold on for one second because I, I need to hear about these three piss situations. It happened, that's all you need to know. <laughs> he just Who threw... was doing the peeing? The both of us. On each other? Yeah. In my tub. And you wow. Yeah. Wow. He's a nasty bitch. Vic? Yeah. It's great. He is a wow. nasty bitch. That is crazy. I've, yeah. I've never <laughs> done that. No. no? I've done that before. Yeah. I've, I've, um, I've drank it straight from the tap before. Oh, what? Honey. what do you mean from the top? What does that mean? That that's kind of are you yeah. like he sucked the pee out of his dick? Wow. Yeah. This is like his face right now. I wish people could see his face that he made. It was the most beautiful, like yeah, serious face that you'd ever see. He was a very good-looking man. Met him after Velvet. Ah. Cute little twink. Hmm. Um. He was very weird. But at any rate, I did suck urine from his penis. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is it a was new sexual. one. It was sexual, and it actually tasted like the liquor that he had just drank at the club. Oh, so I got drunk off of his piss. You got drunk off his piss? So like, you were turning my stomach So you were bit. like <laughs> yeah. literally drunk in love. I was. Ugh. Ugh. I got oh. it. I got it. Oh, honey. Ugh. That's some lemonade shit. Oh, my goodness. Mm. All right. Oh, Lord. Natural lemonade. Beyonce. That surfboard. It tastes so sweet. That oh, surfboard. Lord. Straight in the mouth. <laughs> Straight in the mouth. It was It was very European. I understand. You Americans. I, I totally get fine. it. European. He's, he's a, a peeing. <laughs> Everyone's a peeing. Get it? You're in. <laughs> Urine, yeah. urine, yeah. I'm a European. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my lord. That's. I guess wow. that's. I guess that's. I usually say that's dope. I, do that's I say that right now? Do I say that? I, I well, people do a lot of. <laughs> yeah. People what? do a lot of things, you know. 
And it's always good to expand your horizon because it's not like one day I woke up and sexually I was like, you know what, I, I, I want to get piss in my mouth. But it just led up to that. And I did it. And it wasn't too bad. So you enjoyed it? I did. And you would do it again? Yeah. All right. Ladies so, and gentlemen, so you heard as, it here as, first. Yeah. It's, you I guess, it not that bad. So, if you're huh. thinking about uh, <laughs> drinking your your partner's piss in your sexual partner, encounter. Just, he wasn't my partner. Just my or partner. if you want to drink yeah. a stranger's piss. Yeah. There we go. Um, fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah, I guess Straight from the tap. Push push your limits if yeah. you want to. Yeah. So, so pucker I, up and yeah. check. Chuck, Chuck, Have fun Chuck. with it, right? So, as, as a future, future sex therapist, like, what would you say? What do you say to that? Like, would you, would you support that? Like, would you to encourage each other? Zone, right? I mean, to each would his own, encur- just as long as it doesn't get to the point where it's like non-consensual or underage type of shit. Like, just as like long R. As Kelly. Does, as long as it doesn't hurt anyone exactly. else, go for it. It's funny how he just I, keeps I, popping up. I ain't hurting anyone, baby. Yeah, exactly. If it's not hurting anyone else. Yeah. So you don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and grind either? No. Hold on, what? What wrong with what? Nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. What is that? Nothing wrong with a little bump, bump and grind. And grind. Song, I don't listen honey. to that music. Oh, he's racist. Sorry. What do you mean, you people? <laughs> I, oh. Hashtag Trump's America. I've been wanting to use that one for so long, and I was like, I get it now. Oh no, I didn't I don't mean listen it like that. that. You know, I didn't mean it like that. Dude. I didn't mean it like that. You people are fucking taking the words out of my mouth. There he goes people again. again. There oh he goes. God. Oh my god, you people, man. Or he actually said it that he time. He did, yeah. He wow. Damn. Wow. But there are three races in front of me, so I'm technically blaming all three of you combined. Because there is an Ecuadorian woman. I'm not Ecuadorian, you stupid the bitch. Fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> the fucking shit that's not Mexico, whatever. And there is a kind African and a white guy. I'm not fucking African, you stupid oh, whatever. bitch. Whatever, I fucking give up, whatever. <laughs> I'm a white guy, but where am I from? <laughs> yeah. Jeez, oh, dude. I, I, I'm just always going to be the, the white guy. This fucking interview I've ever had. <laughs> Lots of different types of I'm white just, people. I'm just like... so triggered right now. I need to speak to someone's manager right now. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> Ecuadorian. He's like, <laughs> it's close to there. It's okay. It's okay. I can see why he keeps getting confused. But for someone who's been my friend for seven years, I've told you this multiple times. I'm El Salvadorian. El Salvador. Okay. Okay. Look at put your I'm finger El like put your finger like the um, okay. My finger. Ecuador, no. 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 My finger Salvador. is Ecuador. My finger honey, is Ecuador. My finger is honey, Ecuador. No. Where is El Salvador? Oh Where is it? It's like okay, so this okay. is this is yeah, Ecuador. I actually have a map. No, nobody so can nobody can see what you guys are doing. Uh, right <laughs> so, so I'm putting funny. my finger in the air, and this is Ecuador. Where's El Salvador compared to my finger? <laughs> it's right <laughs> here. Doesn't it depend on how big your map no, is? is? Okay, so this is Honduras right here, and then right here is El Salvador. And next to that, it's Guatemala and shit like that, and then down but there. But why do you have that if you're not from there? I am from Honduras. I'm half Honduran, half okay, Salvadorian. Okay, now she's on fucking whatever. Okay. Now but she's on the Accord. Let's just let's just <laughs> sim- just make it simple and just say that I'm Central American. That's what Instead I was trying Honda to do. Accord. Just say, just say that's Central American. That's what I was trying American. to do. I was like, you're that fucking shit over there. Like that's under Mexico. Under Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. Then why are you attacking me? Because <laughs> he called me Ecuadorian. Whatever, dude. I'm not Ecuadorian. You know, honey. around there. <laughs> It's Aww. like in a similar fucking area. It's okay. You have a Forever. pretty mouth. I am pretty not mouth. an okay. accordion, honey. You know what? And you're <laughs> an accordion. <laughs> He's so triggered. I am not a honey accord and I'm not an accordion. You're American. My yes. And for your information, me. Victor, I am from fucking Wakanda. Get it right. Wakanda. Are you really? Yes. Born and raised. Wait, wait, wait. I, I know this. I saw this movie. What? I saw this movie. Have you been there? 
Is that, that where the Wu Tang Clan is? What do you mean you think no, so? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I've never been there. Like you Black Panther go. goes to Uganda. Yeah. Do you like? Are you like Wakanda. about animals and animal rights and like Sometimes. and pushing science to the next limit? Like I am. You should totally go, man. There's plenty of like panthers, like black ones. Yeah. And then like, t- the the like science technology is off the hook. It's so like, on another level. So the, you know? the world's conception of Africa is totally different than what you see on the media is what you're well, trying to say. Well, at least in Wakanda. Yeah. Yeah. Wakanda? Yeah, Wakanda. I've never heard of that place. You yeah, no, yeah, look it up, dude. Like, they have crazy technology. They're, like, advanced in medicine and, like... Yeah. They, they like, stay to themselves because they don't want other countries and people around them, like, you know, jacking all their technology because they live in almost, like, harmony. Like, right. right? Like, it's almost paradise. Yeah. Check it out. So, so uh, like, Amer- not- America's not all up in that shit yet. Like, usually America fucks everything up. Like, it's hard to imagine, like, a country that lives in Big harmony. Big but you don't even understand. You, like, you know why I'm here in America now? I don't. I Do was brought visa? here, I was brought here from Wakanda by force. No way. What yes. the fuck? Yeah. No, wait, yeah, it was, it was not a choice at all. Yeah. Um, yeah, for four, for 400 years, I suffered. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, now I don't believe you. And, and it guy. wasn't a choice. This fucking guy. It, it wasn't a choice. Like, and you know what? No, no. My, but seriously, seriously, I, I wasn't. Uh, it wasn't by choice. I was brought here on a pretty fucked up ship. You wouldn't want to like, um, you know, what's that ship called? Take San- a cru- you wouldn't take a cruise on this ship. No, I was going to say Santa Maria. It's like a smuggle ship, right? Yeah, and like I had to like lay a on top ship? of I had to lay smuggle. on top of like five other people. Smuggle. Smuggle. He's a mud blood. And like some of the people died on the way over from Wakanda. It was pretty fucked up. Man. Holy fucking yeah, shit. They dude. separated me from my brother. Wait, we were was like Cedric, two years apart. Cedric Diggory did he die and all that as well? Huh? That's fucking insane, yeah. dude. I, I never knew. I, I'm pretty my, sure he my, died. My mom my mom that. migrated from Mexico. Huh? My mom migrated from Mexico. She actually did the whole, like, thing, like, illegal yeah. shit. Yeah. My it's mom pretty too. brutal. She was actually, a, brutal. like, she actually got her back wet getting into this country. So wow. it's kind of funny when you say wet back. It's like, ha <laughs> hi, you actually did get your back wet, though, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> But you know what? It's funny because if you get your back wet, you get your butt wet too, right? Yeah. You get your butthole wet for sure. And they can call us wet butts. Yeah, yeah. they don't. They, <laughs> wet butts. Yeah. yeah, where did that term really or like come feet? from? Like, was there's it, a lot of stuff back? before your back. Was like, there's your from toes. swimming through a river. It's kind of dumb. Yeah, yeah you get it you get dumb. your dripping but water wet, wet back sounds a little more offensive. It is know, a fucking wet back. Like, it definitely has turned into something very offensive. Yeah. Because, you know, I, know. White I still people. think it's dumb. It, it, I think it's dumb too. It all really is, but. I mean, wet and back. Yeah, it, it doesn't make intuitive sense to me, really, but. Yeah. I know it's a common, fr- you know, not so common if phrase. If you break the words down, they're very, uh, you know, two very used words in everyday like, English. I, I took a shower today. Yeah. And, like, my back was wet. Like, yeah. You yeah. didn't cross the river, though. But I, I have. I've swam in lakes and rivers and oceans. <laughs> and But for salvation, I've, though. Not for, for salvation. salvation. No. I, I, except for the time I almost drowned, and then I was. Well, then that's. Then I was swimming for salvation. Then you are wet back. All right. You heard right. it here. We're getting off topic. Let's get back to our sex therapist, Fabi. Sex Wonderful, therapy. fabulous, fabulosa. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, uh. All right. What to next, dear? What you have a question, Sean? Hmm. What's, what's going through your white brain right now? Not a whole lot. Yeah. Not a whole lot. I'm kind of tired. Makes sense. I'm yeah. just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just so, kidding. I'm hot. No, I'm just How kidding. How often? I'm, just, I'm a genius. Remember. <laughs> How often do you um, think you should have sex? Every day if you can. I mean, yeah, but I mean, it also because I go, good. I go through bouts of like celibacy where it's just like I really need to collect myself and really understand, like kind of focus on other shit. But then I also go through moments where it's just like let's let's suck all the dicks. So it's really just like you gotta find like a good balance. But I mean, if you're in like a good stable partnership then like why not have sex every day 
get that afternoon delight in. Like, hey, I have an hour lunch break. I'm coming home. Well, maybe not every day. Just to build, like, anticipation. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, I mean, kind of? you could also just, like, edge the fuck out of your partner, like, every yeah. other night and then just, or, like... Yeah. That'd be so annoying. Do what? They, yeah. they, they'd Edge, be divorced edging. probably, like, right What's away. What's that? What's edging? So, edging is, edging like... Edging is when you almost get them off, but then you just stop. Oh, yeah. that's fucked that's up. That's so mean. What the fuck? <laughs> And some people that's like what, that's what I was saying that causes who divorce, likes it probably. some guys like that shit I like edging when I'm like jerking off actually I, I do like edging because nah. it makes you last longer huh interesting like I'm about to come I'm about to come haha <laughs> no you're not bitch and um, it just makes you want it more and you're just like I am not down yeah that sounds I'm terrible so it's like a throbby that sounds thing. like yeah I would be but pissed off like blue, it's blue it's blue, blue balls, balls like yeah. at the worst like yeah, I don't. I definitely would not take any like pleasure in yeah, having that but, happen. But I guess some people it's situational. like it. It's situational. It really is. But everyone, yeah. I mean, like, not everyone wants to drink piss, and not everyone wants to get edged. Yeah. I back got off. it. Back yeah. Off. Fair. I think yeah. <laughs> like, back off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even mean it in a no, mean way. No, it's, it's just. Yeah, it's just something it is that true, though. I'm... Yeah. yeah. It's absolutely fucking Some true. people so, like to get slapped in the face. Some people <laughs> fucking just do missionary and that's it. So what do you like? You like the hair pulling, the spanking, yeah. choking, yeah. Yeah. the whole nine? All of it. And do you have a type or you just... <coughs> what I, kind of guys you like? I like guys that I like can connect to like on like a deeper level. Like... Okay, so last night I went to the club and like as these two guys were leaving, one of them like he was just like, hey, we're not leaving until my homie here gets your number. And like, sure, you're cute and all, but shut the fuck up with that weak ass game. Like, (laughs) why don't you try and get to know me and like try to actually connect to me before you like start tossing out all that kind of shit. Like, calm the fuck down. Like, I am like super hard into like fucking respect and really like kind of kind of being able to like like really connect to someone yeah so it's not just like surface it's it's not just like random sex like someone's really hot you have to feel like you can carry on some kind of conversation or at least like have a little yeah yeah, just Yeah. yeah so how would you like a guy to approach you um Well, I feel like with any good relationship, there has to be, like, a great, like, friendship basis. So, just no agenda. I don't like that whole agenda thing. Like, I don't know. But I guess it also depends on, like, my mood. Because sometimes, like, I'm not going to lie, sometimes I happen into the situation in which, like, a guy would be, like, just, like, full force, like, hey, what's up? And, like grabbing my ass like but it's very like situational but for the most part I like, like that. oh yeah but i mean like at the you said at velvet you met this guy so how would you want someone at velvet to like approach you um yeah just treat me like i'm a human being and not a piece of meat it's the best way to go about it like actually try and get to know me and... so what would you like him to say to you like first meeting you walking up to you it's like hi what's your name Oh, cool. I don't know. I don't know. It's very... I I don't like this shit. I don't like fucking... I don't... I hate... I hate, like, putting things on a pedestal. Like, I like to try and live, like, without any sort of, like, conditions. So, like, for me to say, like, how I would specifically like a guy to approach me would be me putting, like, making things conditional. It's just like, eh, no... No, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, like, like you said, like you hate like the whole agenda thing. Like something has to be like this, or it's not like a formula. It's yeah. more just how you're feeling, where you're at, and how it all comes together. Yeah. Like I don't know. the magic of the moment, if you will. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I guess I, I'm, I, I sway a lot too. Like I'm a total Libra. Like I swear, sometimes I swear. Oh, I'm Libra. pretty much like bipolar. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm a Libra. I'm a Leo, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I'm very, like, wavy, like... Yeah, you're on the scale. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Never even, never really all that balanced. Just kind of like all over the place. So you kind of just take things as they come and yeah. if the energy's right, then yeah. you feed into it. Yeah. I mean, like, I just leave it to the universe. Yeah. Whatever happens, happens. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Yeah. 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 And like you said, like not kind of putting things in boxes or just thinking that one thing has to be what it's described as necessarily. Yeah. Some deep shit. Yeah. Cool. So, um, you said you're also a KJ? I was a KJ, karaoke mm-hmm. DJ, but I uh, decided just to like do a good old Irish goodbye and just dip out on that because... Was that was that before or after Victor tried to like take your shine? Oh, that was after. It was just this week that I officially just kind of <laughs> gave it the axe in my life. <laughs> but he like he's she just always does. To be a good friend. I know. I'm 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 the worst when She's it comes to. She's very emotional. Yeah, I I ghost a lot of people. <clears throat> I just kind of I'm like one of those dads that just leaves the store for milk and cigarettes and never comes back. Oh man. Constantly doing yeah, that. I know what that's like. Yeah. No, I'm, ju- I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, I still have not. a father. Next show. Next, Next show. show. We'll go <laughs> into that deeper. Just kidding. No, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Do you have any any other questions? Uh, uh, yeah. What? Did you guys fight that night? Uh, I yelled at him. And I told him to get the fuck Wait, out. But that's so like, what, that's what like happened? Normal, what happened? That's yeah. normal for us. Break it down. You were DJing, KJing. KJing. Um, you, were, you were, you know, headlining, yeah. right? Or oh, I just, like, host it. And, um, you know, I would have customers come up and ask me a question. And before I'd even get a chance to answer, he would just, like, hop on in and take over my position and I understand like he was just trying to be like a good friend but also at the same time he has to respect where I'm coming from it's like this isn't your job dude it's my job I gotta do this shit you know um but did you feel like he was helping you or uh to a mild degree it was to a degree yeah but also that was his first time ever going to my karaoke gig so I didn't even feel like he kind of had the authority or, like, the knowledge of what was available or how I even like to run my shit for him to come in and do that. But, I mean, he's been promoting and throwing events for so many years. Yeah, because he's just a DJ. Very, yeah. yeah, it's all very comfortable for him. Yeah. So but, what, what yeah. exactly did he do wrong then? He just, like, kind of overstepped his bounds. And that's okay. It's fine. He does that shit, and I love him for it, but I'm also a very sassy, short-tempered gal, so of course I got, like, all bitchy on him. <laughs> but it's okay. Yeah. So it you happens. just said, like... Yeah. yeah. Well, he's... I used to consider him my husband, and now he's my oh, ex-husband. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we got a divorce. Uh-huh. An emotional divorce. But it's okay. We're friends now. You guys are working it out again? Wait, have you guys not seen each other in a long time? Since that night, actually. Whoa, yeah. how long um, ago was that? Actually, no, we did. Yeah, no. We, we hung after, um, after the wedding. Yeah. yeah. How long ago was that? <sighs> like a month ago. Yeah, a month or so ago. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so not too long. No. No, not too long at all. But we've gone, we've gone months without seeing each other before. Like, I'll, I'm like... I get so mad at him sometimes that I'll even go as far as, like, blocking him from everything. And so for what? <laughs> She's uh, just emotional. That's how she uh, is. Yeah. It's funny. I'm emotional. I'm used to it, though. I don't like taking, like, shit. I don't take any shit. So when I feel like, like, I don't want to deal with your ass. Insta-block. Yeah. But it's something that I'm working on. <laughs> yeah. But, Yeah. Okay. That's all over now. And now I can really focus on being the ratchet that I truly am. Yeah. And also exploring different avenues and different passions. So I actually thought of another question on that topic. Sure. So when it comes to uh, cum, male fluids, how mm-hmm. do you, are you comfortable with that? Are you like grossed out by it? Um, 
I usually like it in three major spots, the breast, the tummy, or the ass. So it's like... Just depending so on the position. Yeah, depending on the position. But not in the mouth. Uh, not usually, no. Not yeah. on the face. Interview over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I get, I, I have eyelash extensions, so anything around oh, this okay. area, just... So you're gonna no. fuck up your makeup and shit. Yeah, don't. No, sorry. Too cute for that, honey. <clears throat> but, I mean, it's happened before. But, I, pref- I don't know. I prefer it on my tits. Yeah. I'd Why? Rather- oh, because then, like, you kind of just, like, rub it around and be kind of nasty with it. You know? But, yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. I, think, I think everyone just smiled. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice big smile. I'm smiling. Yeah. yeah, even Victor's fine. Yeah. And like, it's like that classic, like, cute ass move where it's like he comes on your tits, you take a little bit off, and just like lick your finger, and it's just like, hey, great job, daddy. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, definitely. You heard it here first, so <laughs> we're gonna end it on that note because that is a, a great note to I end on. Definitely think we should wrap it up. What are you gonna call your sex therapy practice when and if you start? Really oh, going shit. down that road. Have I you have thought no of a idea. name? No. I don't even know if that's something that you would give a name to. Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe just so how do you want to start? Just therapy. with your friends or? Um, I guess it just really starts like kind of really establishing like what it is you want to focus on and becoming educated. And then from there, like, yeah. So would you like to like become me and Sean's sex therapist and like. And how much would you charge? Coaches? Yeah, how does this work? Uh, it's all still very like new, but essentially, eventually, I would love to get to the point. Like, have you ever seen Meet the Fockers? You know, Barbara Streisand yeah, yeah. and yeah. Meet the Fockers. Absolutely, yeah. great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just, I, I just would want to be like her mm-hmm. at some point in yeah. my life. I got it. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think we perfect all example. just got the perfect yeah. picture yeah. of what yeah. she wants to do. She has and, the hair too. And she I has have the hair. She does. Yeah. 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 She's yeah. already fucking halfway there. Halfway yeah. there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. Yeah. 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 That was great. And uh, yeah. Thanks for I hope in. everyone learned a little bit something new tonight. And uh, yeah, I hope you're still smiling. And uh, once again. Uh, Thank you for listening and tuning in. And I am Mikey. And I'm Sean. And I'm our and our <laughs> guest co <laughs> and our guest co-hosts for tonight were Fabi and Victor yes. and Victor, Mr. Tricky the Pee Pee. Shut up! <laughs> I know that's gonna be a thing now. I know that's gonna be a thing. Oh no! Shit. <laughs> Only if you make it a thing. You're making it a thing. I mean, you're making well, it you, a you thing. Did, right? You did it's tell us about it voluntarily. On there's the show. plenty others. You're not alone in that. You're not yeah. alone. Oh, you're yeah. definitely not alone in that. No. So. I'm sure so we we talked talk. about a lot of crazy shit on this yeah, show. Yeah, I, I think the whole the whole motto is is you know consider what you haven't considered, be more open, uh, think about other stuff, don't put things in boxes, open your minds. Yeah. And open free. your minds and, and all of your hoes. We'll leave it at that. And maybe take some poppers <laughs> yeah. and expand your asshole too. All right. Wow. All right. Yeah. Okay. Good night, guys. Right. We're gonna we're, we're gonna leave you <laughs> Definitely. with Definitely. on yeah. that on that note. We're gonna say good night, but we're gonna leave you with a little song by oh yeah, Victor. By Sing your our song. Very good okay. friend. Sing your quick acapella. Let him let him get What's ready. He's a whole new world. A whole new hole. All right. Oh. All right. You gotta sing louder. A closer. A little closer. A whole new hole. A new fantastic piece of ass. Know that I'm way in here. It's crystal clear that now I have a whole new hole with you. <laughs> yes, beautiful. beautiful. Thank you, oh, yeah. Victor. That was beautiful. Yeah. Oh, That'll be available God. on YouTube soon and uh, maybe even Thanks. iTunes. Like, that was have so it dope. as your ringtone. It's Anyways. actually vinyl only, sorry. Right, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, good night. Good night. Shake it gay, ridiculous, ludicrous, find help sometimes.
I shot myself, myself, uh, uh, uh. Mikey, 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 I'm a Don Ho. Kicking out the Mikey versus Sean Show. Killer came and I just come in pronto. Got me feeling like a raptor in Toronto. I saw the podcast back in off ho. Jenna caught a dad checking off, bro. Bit that he just wanna say my nigga. I told him cut it out and play it off, bro. St. Juvon and Alejo. They all deep in this is so fuego. I'm just trying to get you all to listen. So I got crystal talking about this. Ridiculous. Through the Chris. Find help. Sometimes I shot myself. Myself. Shake it again. Ridiculous. Through the Chris. Find help. Sometimes I shot myself. Myself. Shout out, caught the fresh and Rudy Sex. Yeah, yeah, I can yeah, get a leg, so they send me booty pics. Yeah, yeah, Till the yeah. prince wanna know if I eat ass. ass. That's the asking if a broke nigga need cash. <laughs> Tabitha the girl with the pussy in the dick too. Oh, Baby oh, with the pussy in the dick too. Oh, yeah, Ricky oh, used to work at the sex shop. Yeah, and Troy yeah. got the tin that working like a sweatshop. <laughs> Sammy lost his house in the fire. Skiing Allen went for Grandma Messiah. And I still got room on the show. If you want an episode, just let a nigga know. Yeah. Ridiculous. Do the Chris. Find out. Sometimes I shot myself. With myself. Shit could get ridiculous. Do the Chris. Find out. Sometimes I shot myself. Myself.